Hi, Tim Wood here. I'm the founder and creator of Barracuda Brackets. And today I'm going to show you how you should never be using this old style toilet flange any longer. The open slots allow water to flow through when the wax ring is compromised or other water underneath the toilet, rotting your floor and allowing mold to grow, which is a danger to your health. By the end of this video, I'll be showing you demonstrations on how the new technology replaces this and how I'm right and this is absolutely wrong. This is an old style toilet flange. You can see the open slots, all the holes. This is the metal version of the same thing. Every bathroom in America has these toilet flanges. There's about two billion of them in service right now. But with every job, there has to be a hole. And your bathroom has those holes just like that. And when the toilet flange it has open slots, it allows water to flow through when the wax ring leaks or water gets under the toilet, causing damage and the health problems that come with mold. Mold is a big deal. Millions of people suffer from the effects of mold exposure. In fact, a lot of doctors are now coming to the conclusion that people who are suffering from fibromyalgia might actually be suffering from mold exposure. What I'm showing you is the open slot of a toilet flange where the exposed wood below reaches the food source, but also the hole going in your subfloor is obviously visible. This is where mold can go not only on your subfloor, but below your subfloor, to the ceiling below, to the walls below, to the wood below, to the insulation all throughout your whole house. This is an example of a wax ring that is necessary to be used between any toilet flange and the actual toilet. And plumbers are going to tell you that you don't need the new technology if the toilet is installed correctly because the wax rings don't fail. But that simply isn't the case. Over the course of time, your houses settle. Uh, the heat in the heating season, the houses expand. The cold season, they contract. And that all affects the floors. And the floors all affects the, how the toilet is sealed on your, on your toilet flange. So that, that is clearly not true in that the wax rings don't fail. And that's not the only way water can get into your subfloor through your open slot toilet flange. Uh, when the toilet is sitting on your tile floor, there's not a perfect seal between the toilet and the, and the tiles. So water can get uh, under the toilet from, uh, from mopping the floor, from water pooling, from overspray, from the uh, shower or mini flood. And water can get into the subfloor through uh, through that, you know, just the process of water flowing underneath the uh, on the toilet flange in your subfloor, and that moisture is what causes mold. So here we are with the toilet on the floor, and we're going to show how water can get under the toilet and cause damage where the wood floor below it is exposed. A little self promotion doesn't hurt. We're going to be using coffee to show how it can flow under the toilet, and uh, the coffee will represent the water from overspray from a shower or from watching the dog and the water's pooling, a little mini flood, or even from washing the floor where the water from you washing the floor can get underneath the toilet and cause damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour some coffee around the moat, around the edge of the toilet, and then we're going to clean up our mess and we're going to see, we're going to see what happens after the fact. We'll clean it up and, and if when I clean up all of all the coffee, there's nothing underneath the toilet, then I'm wrong, but let's see. So I've just wiped up all around the perimeter of the, of the toilet, and there's the, the rags that I used to clean it up, and let's see what's underneath the toilet. All of that is there, and what would happen in your bathroom is, it would flow through the open slots of the toilet flange and into your subfloor and over time rotting and causing mold. This is the Barracuda watertight toilet flange. It's designed completely different from every traditional other flange that you've seen or used. The first thing I want you to notice is on the back it's got a flat bottom. This is because this toilet flange is meant to be adhered to your subfloor, sealing it, making a mechanical bond between your subfloor, the toilet flange, and your actual sewer pipe. On the top, you'll see that there is a perimeter burr that goes around the whole flange. So if the toilet is leaking and the wax ring seal has been compromised, 
Water drips onto the flange. This berm is going to keep all the water within the flange. The next part I want you to see is that the bolt wells are sealed. So if water drips in there, it's collected, and then it's directed down the drain through these portholes. Another little convenient part of this flange is that the bolts don't spin. Since this is meant to be adhered to the subfloor, screws are optional. But if you choose to use screws, you use a screw in these uh, designated areas and then you just seal that area with uh, polyurethane adhesive to seal it, making sure that the toilet flange maintains its watertight integrity. Now that we've dealt with the fact that we have a high-tech toilet flange, we still have to deal with the area around the perimeter of the toilet flange. Mold can still grow in this area. It's difficult to tile because of the tile uh, uh, being difficult to, to grind to the right radius and sealing the, the area in between the toilet flange and the tile. Grout cracks away, leaving openings in this area. So what I developed is a product called the Toilet Flange Tile Guide. And this product is meant to be adhered as a tool around the toilet flange, sealing the floor, the toilet flange, and the subfloor with the tile guide as one unit. So mechanically, this is one whole area that's completely sealed now. It's made of recycled polypropylene. It's a quarter inch thick. It's not, you're not going to have issues with the toilet not covering it. We have dog ears that can be taken away to accommodate some toilet footprints. But this is meant to make it so it's a very easy tile installation because only straight cuts are needed. So what ends up happening now with this totally uh, secure system under your toilet is that you have a system that we call black mold on hold, where there's no way moisture can get in the subfloor, either from the flange or around the flange. If you happen to have a catastrophic leak in your bathroom where water is, is pooling on the floor, you can actually take the toilet off, clean the whole area knowing no water has gotten into your subfloor, and then reinstalling the toilet. So this is the first maintenance type toilet flange that allows you to go in after the fact, maintaining your integrity of a no mold environment in your bathroom. I'd like to thank you personally for taking the time to watch the video, learning a little bit about mold in your bathroom, how to prevent it, and the state of art products that we developed to make it so your home is safer. You can see why now two states have already looked into possibly either putting warning labels on existing toilet flanges or banning them outright in, in lieu of the type of toilet flange that we've designed. You can reach us at barracudabrackets.com. That's our website. Give us a call, 518-326-1354, and we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you.